Hey, have you ever had a TV on when you were having sex? And you know, you just kind of happen to glance at it? Yup. Really? What, okay, what happened? What were the repercussions? Nothing. Seriously, nothing? Yeah, kind of like half an episode of Giada at home and just kept going. Giada? Why was the Food Network on? Okay, why wasn't the Food Network on? Is the realest question. Okay. I Look, I got caught. Jess and I were... You know. Thank you. And she was just about to... Thank you. I didn't know, and, and CSI was blaring in the background. Okay, wait, was it Cold Case? Because I hate that one with the Passion of the Christ. No, it was the one with the LL Cool J. That's not CSI, bro. That's NCIS. Okay. Naval Criminal Investigative Service. Anyway, so she catches me glancing at NCIS and freaks out. She kicks me off the couch, kicks me out of the apartment. What a Danny Downer. What does she want? I don't know, for me to pay more attention while having sex, I guess. Oh, pay attention to what? She wants you to look at her the whole time? Nobody wants to stare. Why not? What do you... What? Stop, dude, stop it, you're freaking me out. Of course I am, okay? And who wants that looking at him the entire time while they're intercoursing in the sheets? Nobody. But all I'm saying is, you know, what do I do to make it right? You know, now that I think about it, it that's a double standard, man. Okay, that's a DS. A Nintendo DS. She's playing games with you, and you don't even know it. Uh, a DS? Okay. She doesn't want you to be a stare, yet she doesn't want you to look at anything else. Homie, it's sexual copulation, all right? You know, you're in there, you're giving it your all, you're giving it your 100. That's all I do. Yeah, you know, your, your body's fully committed, okay? I think your attention deserves a little LL Cool J and NCIS while you're at it. Well, yeah, but I mean, I can't say that to her. Well, I mean, it's, sure you can. Well, fine, but I'm not going to. I, I can't. Okay, it's not unforgivable, like farting in an elevator, okay? I think, to Jess, it apparently is. It could have been a lot worse. I mean, you could have shouted the name of another woman, or man for that matter. And trust me, there is absolutely no coming back from that. Yeah, you're right. True. But you know, I mean, Jess and I have been together for like three years now. And it's the longest relationship I've ever had. She's the first girl to meet my parents. Hell, she's the only girl to meet my parents. I messed up, dude. I messed up bad. You know, I went ring shopping a few weeks ago. I've been carrying it around, just waiting for the right time to... I don't know, man. I mean, she really seemed intent on just breaking it all off last time we talked. I don't want to lose her. <laughs> Shit, I'm sorry, man. There is a guy waiting at the bus stop right now with no arms, but he has a backpack on. And I have no clue how that's working right now. It's like anti-gravity magic. Oh my god, you gotta turn around and see this man. I'm not gonna. Oh my god, I wanna like talk to him. I'm sorry, what were you saying?